And we've reached the first segment of the walk's finish line at the Red Sea, crossing the last 40 or 50 meters of cobbles to dip our feet in the surf. We're going to be walking across the world in the footsteps of the first ancestors who spread across the world about 50 to 70,000 years ago. This is a journey of seven years on foot, 30 million footsteps, and through 2,500 generations of human history. It's always been about embedding yourself in the lives of the people that I'm writing about. How long have they been traveling? Where are they going? It seems extreme, even a little crazy, but I think that's the beauty of it. This notion of having people walk along across three continents, across 30 borders, across dozens of languages, through scores of ethnic groups, to be able to connect the dots between stories that hold us all together. My stories fossilize the moment I put pen to paper. But in societies that are pre-literate, the story changes all the time. Wow. Will it be as accurate as mine? Uh, who's to say, but odds are it'll be truer. Because stories told verbally through the years will be like river stones. Smoothed by the tongue, grounded by repetition, improved upon by memory, so that only a core truth remains. But now string them together in one long narrative, a journey that really belongs to all of us. <laughs>